This is Friday, February 28, 2014, 17, 28 Pacific Standard Time. Um, I'm going to give you the latest in the noise campaign that's remotely accessed. It is utilized for community-based harassment via an acoustic and or noise campaign. They use a variety of frequencies, sounds, uh, external sounds that would be considered natural. The only problem is it's not natural when it's remotely accessed and it can project through various uh, small speaker systems. Mainly it's directional, it's called directional ultrasound. That's similar to the long range acoustic device. Acoustic device, let me give you a sample. It's generally utilized by law enforcement agencies and or military. It uh, can project frequencies and or uh, commands. The people who are behind it don't hear it. The people that it's being projected to at or towards can. So as a crowd control weapon, as you see, once they turn it on, uh, it would make a crowd run because of the high frequency pits that they project. Okay. Let me give you a sample of a militarized version. And you have to understand that So that is the size of a militarized version. The, that very system, with the advances of modern technology, this was done in 2009 or 2008 at the G20 or G8 in Pittsburgh. Those are down to a three by three inch square. You could hide them anywhere, direct and project them if you wanted to harass someone acoustically. Let me show you what a parametric speaker, the size of a parametric speaker. Used in size to what they call a parametric speaker. It, it, it's directional ultrasound that directly projects sound at whoever it's being aimed at. Okay, and hear it when you're out of the view. So let me repeat that. So what it is is that these were just, they're just field testing a small speaker that size. Okay, what you're looking at is when it's being directed, you hear the sound the loudest. Okay? When you move out of the range, above, below, or to the side, the sound begins to diminish. That's how small the technology has gotten. Which was, uh, they started doing what's called the smoke alarm. So this was published on February 20th. You'll see that's the view of it, the YouTube video. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and I will give you samples from several different residential locations of all the noise that I have been able to record. Some of it you have to use headsets <clears throat> because it is what you call, it's the resonance from ultrasound or infrasonic noise. Okay, when that happens, it, for some reason this camera has been able to do it, but you have to use headsets. When you put the headsets on, you'll begin, you'll hear the, what's called the vibroacoustic effect. So again, if you go to this one, it's called Noise Campaign. It was uploaded February 20th and I started putting all the samples from all the residential locations of the noise campaign that is utilized by residential members with remote access to create a hostile living environment. This is what I recorded today, February 28, 2014. What you have to understand too is that along with all those links you saw, they can increase or decrease the volume depending on how much they want to harass you within your living space. So this is how loud it was blasting today. So this is the area here where the most of it's coming up. So what you're also going to find out is, you remember the parametric speaker, 3x3 three three inch square, you could put it into any one of these ducts <clears throat> that you will see spread throughout this the area once I start showing you how they increase the volume, how they blast it, and how it's basically remotely accessed. Not unlike the um, long-range acoustic device. Hey, 
in multiple locations. See where they do? Both sides. Just like that, up here. You see this is, now where is it going? There's my right there. Do you, you know, see how it works? And you see how they turn it you off. You see how all these upper things right here? They hook up shit. And then you so see how they turn it off. Noise. You don't hear it. All these areas up here. Then you see it turned off because it's remote access. So this is just one more example of how they can turn it up or down, how they project different frequencies. And when you go to the links, you will see several different examples of three different residential locations in the state of California where this type of street terrorism is going on. I mean, if you want to see the most prime example of the rise of a multicultural Nazi Germany, you're seeing it right here in targeting. I mean, this must be what the Jewish people felt in the most literal sense of the word. You have people that live in the United States of multi-ethnic, multi-socioeconomic, and they've come together, and they've decided that they're entitled to the United States of America, but you as a, an American citizen are not. Not because you've broken any laws, but because a group of fascists that have hijacked this country believe that they can radicalize people into extremism with their criminal access to United States Department of Defense military-grade weaponized technologies allow civilians to utilize their military weapons to harass people that they don't want in this country. But wait a second, you can kiss my ass, motherfuckers, because I'm an American citizen, and I'll be damned if I let a bunch of fucking fascists take over my country.